Now the EPA granted those waivers over the summer. Some Iowa farmers say that offsets the president's promise of year round E15. When President Trump came to Council Bluffs in June, he made this pledge to farmers. Within a year and a half, I would say you'll be in the best position that you've been in in 15 years as farmers and you deserve it. You deserve it. At the time, farmers liked what they heard, year-round E15. For some, that's changed now. I was encouraged that we would have year-round E15 uh, after that, but then uh, shortly after that, he granted more uh, uh, small refinery exemptions that have just devastated the ethanol industry. Carl Jardin is the vice president of the Iowa Corn Growers Association. He's referring to 31 waivers granted by the EPA. Those allow oil refineries to avoid blending ethanol with gasoline. Jardin took part in this roundtable Thursday. At the same plant, the president made his ethanol announcement. Iowa farmers like Alice Hadi say that hurts them. I am real concerned about our ethanol business and what effect that has on our corn farmers. Jardin details that effect. We lost roughly 50 cents a bushel on our price of corn uh, because of the ethanol uh, just the demand destruction. Uh, it's just, if you multiply that by 2 billion bushels in Iowa, it's devastating to Iowa's economy. Now, Iowa Congresswoman Sydney Axley hosted today's roundtable at Southwest Iowa Renewable Energy along with presidential candidate Amy Klobuchar, a fellow Democrat. They also toured the plant. We should also note the president says he supports a plan to offset those waivers by allowing other refineries to blend more ethanol. That deal's not a done deal yet because the EPA has not signed off. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Sean.